Everyone loves the springtime of year. Flowers begin to bloom. God's creation is clearly evident and seen, but with the blooming of everything comes allergies. And with those allergies, oftentimes we're made to sneeze. But as soon as a person sneezes, we often say, God bless you. Do you know why we say that? Or where the origin of God bless you comes from? Did you know that it's based on superstition from medieval period that when a person sneezed, they were actually expelling demons from their body and before they could come back in, if someone said, God bless you, that was as a protectant to keep the evil spirit from entering back into the body. We hear things like that that have become such a part of our culture and they're solely based on superstition and we wonder, why do we say that? How did that get started? And really, how ridiculous is some superstition like unto that? But friend, as we think about things that are, are sure, not based off of superstition, but hardcore truths, we can know the Bible is one of those. Unlike superstition, here's what we can know. This book, the Bible, is truth. It is all truth, John 8, verse 32, which is able to make one free. This book, God's Word, has the ability to save souls. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. This book is the perfect law of liberty. James 1, verse 25, And if I put my trust and hope in the Word of God, not man-made superstition, that I'm promised a home in heaven with God. This is the promise He's promised us, eternal life. And so instead of putting our trust in superstition or maybe things that we've always done or said, let's put our trust in the Word of God. For the Bible says the Word of God is living, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the vision of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 12. Let's trust God, trust His Word, and then we can know for sure that we're right with the Almighty.